There's no doubt about it, for a painter working at heights is risky. Whether you're on a stable scaffolding like this, an elevated work platform such as a cherry picker, trestles and planks, or ladders. If you're working at heights, you're at risk. Because of the high risk of working at heights, the legislation encourages PCBUs to consider the hierarchy of hazard control methods and stresses the importance of abiding by these requirements. At the top of the list is the elimination of the hazard altogether, that is, working from ground level or on a solid construction. Painters can use paint rollers with extendable handle and reduce the shelving height, thus reducing the working height. The next way of controlling the hazard is through engineering. This can be done by scaffolding. A scaffold is a common elevated work platform that painters use. When constructing scaffolds, it's important to read the manual given by the manufacturer so that it's constructed in a proper way. The components of the scaffold should never be substituted unless the manufacturer approves. If it's not reasonable to work from ground level, then fall prevention devices such as secure fence, edge protection, and catch platforms should be set up around the perimeter of the elevator work platform. Next in the hierarchy of controls, we'll consider PPE and administration. Work positioning systems and falls arrest systems are examples of what you might refer to as PPE. A fall arrest system can be used to enhance the safety of the painter. A painter wears a full safety harness and is attached to a reliable fixed anchorage point by lanyard. A deacceleration device is also connected to the system to dissipate the forces associated with a fall arrest event. The work positioning system includes industrial rope access and travel restraint systems. The work positioning system does not necessarily protect the painter, but gives him access to his work spot by shifting the painter from one location to another. PCBU must establish emergency and rescue procedures in relation to the fall arrest system. Those who use or are to use a fall arrest system or may be involved in initiating or implementing the emergency procedures should be provided with suitable and adequate information, training and instruction of the emergency procedures. <laughs>